Hello, I'm Ashley Rosenberg, your DB Method Master Trainer, and welcome to your beginner five minute workout. In today's video, I just wanna get you comfortable on the machine, get your form perfect so that you can start feeling the burn. So we're gonna start by getting on your machine. So step on, and your foot placement is really important here. It's the first thing I want you to concentrate on. So you're going to push your butt back a little bit, take a look down at your feet. And first you want to make sure that your toes are totally straight forward and not going out and not going in at all. So first get your feet perfectly forward and now you're going to move your heels forward onto the foot rest here. It's really important that your feet are pushed a little bit forward so that all of the weight stays backwards here in your butt. Push backwards a little bit on your, hand, your handrails here, not too hard, and scoot your butt back. Now I want you to pull your belly in and come all the way down just to start. Bring it back up and you should feel all of your weight backwards here in your butt. Heels are pushed forward, toes are picked up. Take it down one more time and come all the way up. Now we're gonna just stay in this mid zone for a minute here so that you can get really, really comfortable. And then we're gonna take it full range. So stay right here. You're gonna keep that belly pulled in, hands super light right here on the handrails. They're just to keep your balance. And also you can see that my back to my head, I'm perfectly straight up. You don't wanna be pushed forward at all right here. That's gonna put all the weight in your quads, taking it out of your butt. We're gonna stay right here, getting really comfortable just in this mid zone. We're gonna call this the home zone. We're gonna get really comfortable here. We're always gonna come back to the home zone between our full squats. Keeping the toes picked up, Belly pulled in and a really light grip right here on the handrails. So just keep it going. Breathe with your squats. You can adjust your feet around if it's not feeling super comfortable. You want to find your comfortable foot position. We're going to be here for five, four, three, last two. And now we're going to take it full range. Come down. Don't let your bottom hit the floor and bring it all the way up. And notice when I come up, I don't let the seat disengage. I keep my knees a little soft. That's gonna keep all of the weight in your butt and really start that burn right from the beginning. One, two, three, and come back to this mid zone. We're gonna stay here for another 30 seconds, really building that burn. Stay right here. You can move your feet around, find that perfect spot for you, keep your belly pulled in. Light grip on the handrails. And keep your breathing going. Try not to hold your breath. And we're gonna stay here for a couple more seconds. We're gonna take it down to your full range for five full range squats. In three, two, one, take it full range. All the way down for five, four, three, two. Last one, come back to that home zone right in the middle. We're gonna stay right here. So you can go mid to high, you can pulse it right in the middle. Just get really comfortable here in this home zone. Light grip, chest is back, belly's pulled in. Just a little bit more. We're gonna go for five, four, three, two, Last one, we're gonna take it down for full range for seven more squats right here. We're building it up. Three, four, five, six. Last one, and bring back up to that home zone right here in the middle. Keeping that burn going. Belly's pulled in, light grip. You can pulse, you can come all the way up to the top. Make sure, now I know you're getting tired, so don't start gripping. Bring your fingers back. We're gonna stay right here for five, four, three, two. Last one, we're going down into our full range again for five, four, three, two. Last one, come back up to home. Mid range right here. So I really want you to get comfortable in this mid range, start to feel the burn. Get comfortable with those full range squats as well. We're gonna stay right here. Keep your belly pulled in. When you're right here and you do these mid-range pulses, you should really start to feel it in these low abs as well as in your butt. 
Now let's take it up. Just stay in this mid to high range in the home zone. Again, that really, really light grip is gonna be important and keeping your chest back. You wanna make sure that your chest is directly over your butt. Staying right here. Don't let the seat disengage. You wanna keep your knees engaged the entire time, super soft, keeping the weight in your bottom. We're gonna stay here for five more seconds and do three more full range squats to wrap it up. Three, two, last one. Let's take it all the way down for three. These are your last full range squats. Last one, we're gonna finish off with 30 more seconds in our home zone right here. You can pulse, keeping the belly pulled in, engage those lower abs. You can take it to the mid to high range right here. Just get nice and comfortable right here. Wrapping up your beginner workout in just a little bit. You should feel really comfortable on your machine now. We're gonna give it five more. Five, four, three, two, and last one. You can finally come all the way up and step on off your machine. Great job.